Previously with Peyton. And there's me, Clumsy P, wipes the drink all over my dress. Yep. We can ready to head to Memphis. Surprise! Weddings and funerals. So odd. Oh my goodness. Hey, Auntie. Oh my goodness, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Before BBLs ever came in style, period. This is. This, uh, that was this, a she is the BBL. What you do? Oh! Fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just you be off. <laughs> yeah, this is my Uncle Reggie. Hey, you my favorite uncle right here. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go next. Do it like this. I'm going to go next. Do it Battery issues, a recall. It had to be disassembled and rebuilt. No, nah, bro. Just, just, just buy my car back. Make sure you're all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's living alone and see what's going on. Okay, you guys, if you have been watching any of my previous vlogs, you know that I have been investing in laser hair removal for the past year and it has been extremely costly and I still see hair growing so i want to thank you like for sponsoring today's video and sending over the sapphire ipl at home laser hair removal device i got it in my favorite color green and is absolutely beautiful you like can solve your hair removal problems and get the same results as from the salon the same tech is in the salon the same protection the energy source wavelength the flat head and not only that, but Sapphire Ice Cooling Tech, which can protect your skin while achieving fantastic results, has the flathead tip for 30% to 40% better hair removal results. What I really like about you like is that not only do they send you the protective glasses, but they also send you a cute razor to use for at home to make sure you get a really close shave prior to using your at home laser device. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove any hair that I have under my arm and show you guys how the product works. I'm removing deodorant that I had on from the night previously and you can use any shave cream that you like to go in and shave under your arms. I recommend only doing one pass and then making sure that you wipe away all of the product before you begin to do your at home laser. All right, so here is my skin and how it looks before it's all clean, dry, and ready for use. The Sapphire Ice Cooling Tech soothes the skin at temperatures of 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The treatment is pain-free and does not cause harm to the skin at all. Depending on the shade of your skin and the color of the hair that's being removed, you have five different levels to choose from. Because I'm medium brown and I'm removing black hair, I'm going to set it to level four or five, which is best. And this button here is the button you press to activate the laser and it will flash as long as you make sure you press it firmly up to the skin. Okay, now I'm going to done the protective glasses and begin. Also, I want to tell you guys that the IPL laser can be used on the face, legs, and bikini area, and the product has been approved by over 30 international safety certifications, and it is FDA cleared. To be completely honest with you guys, I didn't feel anything, and I was expecting to at least feel like a little burn or a tingle like I would in a professional salon, but this was actually like I was just taking a picture of my underarm skin, honestly. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. You like does have a 30 day no reason to return policy. If you want to get this device, I highly recommend. All you have to do is click my link below and use code Peyton Marie to get up to 70 to $100 off your purchase. Thanks again to you like for sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe 
I shouldn't I met you in Philly And the name was Brad See we been making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade Black burgundy The way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I be kissing when I'm kissing what I miss Won't you listen Brown sugar babe I guess high off your love I don't know how to feel Brown sugar So fall has entered the chat. So I ordered a lot of uh, hot chocolate off of Amazon. I think I ordered coffee too. Yes, I did. I did. Okay, so so I ordered the single serve brew cup variety pack. So I have morning blend, 100% Colombian, donut shop blend, and French roast. And then I also ordered the premium candy flavored hot coffee. So I got Tootsie Roll, Charleston Chew, Sugar Babies, and Junior Mint. And 40 came in these. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, so as you can see, we're starting a new series on my channel called Living Alone. Wow, so this is how they packed them? I don't like this. I don't like that. Look how they packed it. I don't like that. I think I got all junior mints too. I did. I ain't feeling how they packed it though. It's giving it's giving it came from like a person. They just didn't like them and don't want them no more. Mmm. So what should I drink this morning? Should I have some hot chocolate or coffee? Wow, these came boxed the same way. Like, what's tea? What's the tea? I don't like this. I mean, am I tripping? I just feel like I thought that they were supposed to be like all together, stacked, you know, nice and neat. It's, get, it's giving, they don't give a shit about me. Anyway though, how y'all doing? How you mama doing? How's your daddy doing? Is your daddy and your mama still together? Baby, these men a little different nowadays, honey. I don't blame me. I don't blame your mama if she left them. They, these men a little different. Ooh. We have to talk about it later over tea or hot chocolate. Outside on the rooftop. We'll have to talk about it because. <sighs> These niggas will have you crying. They will have you boo-hooing. Good luck. So now that we have figured out that it's my water that's breaking my skin out, I bought some new... Um, I did change my aerators. I didn't do it on camera that day um, in the last vlog, in the previous vlog, but I, I did uh, clean my area, my aerators. I got some CLR and I soaked them and I cleaned them real good. And then I also installed a filter. I've actually had these filters for months, um, but I never went and got, got like a, a wrench to um, install them. But I installed this one. So now I'm washing my face in the shower more and I did buy two filters to go on my sinks as well. They'll be here um, sometime next week. Um, so my skin will be clearing up now. I, I figured it out. It's, it's my water. It's the water. It's not dairy. It's not the products. It's, wow, I, 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 I threw away it. I threw away all of those hundred and hundred dollar products that I was using. But yeah, it's not the products. It's not dairy. It's not a uh, diet. It's my water. It's the water in my, my house. So yeah, um, bought some filters, got this. I've been washing my face in the shower, so I'm I'm definitely seeing uh, a difference in my skin. Like, um, 
my eczema like um i don't have any eczema like it's the water my water was way too hard and the contaminants in the water was just really like making my skin go crazy like i haven't even been moisturizing y'all i literally have just been washing my face using my astringent and then spraying this um this rose petal witch hazel on it from um thyers so i haven't even been moisturizing i just sprayed it and my skin hasn't been oily like i have what two breakouts one is cystic and then this one is coming to a head so i'm gonna put like a little patch over it but yeah i'm definitely seeing a change in my skin already so good things i'm excited i can't wait i'm probably gonna go and get a vampire facial sometime um this week or next week who knows but yeah so drake and 21 savage just came out with a new um album so i'm about to do a little clean clean fold some clothes and listen and then we'll get out and get dressed and get out and have us a little day date um and enjoy the weekend because today is saturday i think I, I might even indulge in a little sunday fun day tomorrow girl but first we got to make sure the house is all clean and everything is in order i do need to unpack because i did go on a little trip girl i went on a little bitch it was halloween and i went on a little vacation but i ain't gonna post it i'm gonna keep it to myself it's gonna be a memory it's, it's, it's something for me it's something for me because i never did it so now i actually did it but i just want to keep it to myself i just want to keep it for me that's just how i feel about it i'm sorry i know y'all probably wanted to indulge and go but that's okay girl because you know when we do our solo trips it be a vibe i ain't really you know what i'm saying because i was with my yeah yeah so anyway yeah i had one on a trip so we need to unpack but another trip is coming okay yeah, we tripping. Baby, is your love is a bit of be true. Uh, baby, is your love got me tripping on you. You know your love is big enough got me tripping on you. Yeah, we're going to be tripping a lot this this month. So, how about it? But yeah, girl, let's listen to this Drake and 21 Savage album because Drake been making a lot of people mad. I want to see what this Scorpio talking about. And who is this woman? Drake, who is... Who is Hoppo, who this woman? Drake, who is this woman? Cause you could have got me and put me on the cover, baby. Who is she? Who is ma'am? Let's talk. I'm about to zip weed in the club, pay for about 10 niggas to get in. We crunk, lit, in it, bitch. Yeah. Today is, oh, it smells so good. Today is a good Saturday. It feels like a good Saturday. I'm about to find me something to watch on TV. They got Django Unchained. I don't know why, but Django is like one of my favorite movies. I don't know why. But I was um I was on Instagram just scrolling and I ran into like um this podcast where they had Brittany Renner as a guest. I don't know why my sis, because she a Pisces too. I don't know why my sis keep allowing herself to be on these damn podcasts, especially especially the ones with men. Because I feel like they're going to say something that triggers her and she's going to get on the defense. But they were talking about body counts and double standards. Me, myself, I would have stayed cool, calm, and collective. And I would have just listened. Because I feel like when you're in a room with men and they're talking about situations like this, it's just best to listen. It's not really, like, I don't, I don't even feel like our way of thinking as women will be receptive men will be receptive to it anyway especially if we uh disagree with double standards like me i disagree with a lot of the double standards because i see so many men um display vagina envy and um vagina envy is basically an ideology that's the opposite of penis envy right so back in the 90s there was this um uh psychiatrist or philosophy of uh penis envy basically saying you know women want to be men dressing like men with baggy clothes and you know acting like men and 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 i think that's when women really tapped into um behaving like men and 
doing things the way men do. And I identify with that a lot because, like I said, I always say I was a tomboy. So now that we're in the year 2022, I see a lot of vagina envy, but no one is talking about this. And it's basically the opposite of penis envy. Um, and a lot of men feel that they can do the things that women do. I find myself in conversations, having conversations with men where they say, why can't we do it? You know what I'm saying? Why can't a man stay at home, be a stay at home dad? And why can't a man find a, a woman that got money and, and take care of him and stuff like that? I mean, it's almost like a pandemic right now. Like so many men feel this way. So... I wouldn't even allow myself to be in a room discussing double standards right now. Being the, being the society that we live in, like, I just feel like that's a dead topic to even talk about now. You know what I'm saying? Like, who cares about double standards when men are out here wearing fingernail polish and purses and leggings? Like, we can't talk. We, there's no need to talk about double standards, baby. But she allowed herself to be on this podcast and let them trigger her. And they're talking about body counts and stuff like that. I mean, like, after a certain age, body counts shouldn't even be discussed. I, I feel like after the age 30, who's still talking about body counts? If you don't show it, they won't know. Like, I was in, having a conversation with one guy and I brought up an ex. He was like, damn, I forgot you messed with him. Exactly. Exactly. Because I never posted them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you don't show it, they won't know it. They won't even be able to count your bodies. But every time you post a dude, y'all break up, boom, that's one. Then you post another dude, you break up with him, boom, that's two. You are showing these men with trivial mindsets that you can't keep a man. That's all they thinking is you can't keep a man. What's wrong with you? They not waiting their turn. They not sitting back thinking, wow, she's a good woman. What he do wrong? No. They thinking... You can't keep a man. What's wrong with you? Same as when you see a nice looking woman out and she's single, she got her shit together. They immediately relate that to something. Be something's wrong with you if you ain't got no man. So what's wrong with you? I, If I was Brittany, I would totally, I would wholeheartedly stop allowing myself to be on these podcast panels with these men with trivial mindsets that aren't that aren't open minded like you have men that still have a traditional way of thinking even though they they aren't behaving traditionally they're projecting all of these traditional ways of thinking onto modern day women that aren't living this type of lifestyle simply because the men aren't the men aren't but I don't feel like body counts should still be the topic of discussion in 2022, especially going into 2023. I, I just don't think we should still be talking about double standards and body counts. But if we are, I think that we need to include in the discussion uh, emotional intelligence. And knowing that you can't change a person and who they are just because their sex is good will help you avoid a lot of emotional pain. You know what I'm saying? Just because there's a physical attraction and it feels good, knowing that that feeling is temporary when y'all disconnect, like literally physically disconnect, and he goes about his way and you go about your day, how you feel afterwards is golden. If you feel good, if you feel productive, if you feel ambitious, then yeah, that was a that was that was a good situation that you was in, and you should. You should tap into that and, and see where it goes. But if he left so much spiritual debris on you where you're depressed, you crying, you don't know why you sad, you don't know why you just feel so insecure and inadequate. Emotionally, that's, that's your body, that's your spirit telling you he's not the one. So being able to detach emotionally is golden is golden i'm telling you because you want to protect your peace and a lot of people ain't peaceful they just not i think i started something i got what i wanted did did and i can't feel nothing superhuman even when i'm fucking viagra popping every single record auto tuning zero emotion muted emotion Pitch corrected, computed, emotion, uh -huh. I play when on a model bra with a Hollywood smile, ow. Uh -huh.
stripper booty in a rack like wow Brain like Berkeley, better at Coachella I went to see Jigga, she went to see C Trip It's the rocks and the stones falling from the house For me the house ain't even made of rocks and stones The house made of stucco and vinyl siding I can't take it The director didn't think it through So I was gonna go out, but I ain't feeling it. Plus it's cold outside. So I'm about to take my chocolate cup of blueberries and then we about to go over Courtney house and have a little Saturday night, girls night. So let me get ready. All right, what are we wearing? So I just threw something on this jacket though. Ooh, y'all, I got this jacket from Zara. I ordered it online. When I seen it, immediately had to have it. You know, I love me a good old crop denim jacket. The um, active wear piece, two piece set, it is from Shein, of course. Retro ones, yellow, Emilio Pucci hat. So, I mean, I'm sexy. Plus, I smell good. I got on Mason Cravelli's Centaur Volcanique. But it's just something to throw on to go see my girl. I swear. It ain't nothing like a clean house, though. <laughs> ain't nothing like it. Nothing like it. It's nice in here. Okay, office. Look, it look office. It just got hair stuff in there. It could be both. Okay. Yeah, she's here. Hey, sir. You heard her. <laughs> hey, you downstairs today. You know oh, downstairs. Hey, sir. <laughs> What? Hey, what up, though? Oh, it's nice. It's nice. I like. I love this big old island. It's not as big as island. It's bigger in like in like size. Yeah. Mm -mm. This is smaller. The other island is like. Remember I had another yeah, you talking about the, it was a wide island. I like this one a lot because it's. It's like more square. Yeah, it's square. The other one was like rectangle. Excuse me. Oh, my perfume is Mason Cavelli Santa Valkyrie. Mason Cavelli Santa Valkyrie. Listen, she has the most perfume. What Kevin Hart say to uh, old boy mom? I'm ready for the rest of the tour. Man, so oh shit, I ain't taking my shoes off. Hold on, wait. This one, this one of them shoes off houses. Laundry room upstairs. Hey. Yeah. I like bathroom. She likes our closet. Mm-hmm. Private toilet. Mm-hmm. His and her. Yeah. She thinks it's cute. She got her boobs. I like this over here. Let me see. You leaving it like this? He said where he's going he gonna put the massage table at. If it um okay, this is all my nail stuff. You have to excuse it. I was thinking. Have I lost weight? Mm -mm, you looking thick. <laughs> you I look thick. You look thick. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> these niggas been stressing me. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no. Seriously though, they have like seriously. Really? I'm, I'm almost. I'm, I don't want to be a player no more. She said, I think I found no the more. one I can live my life for. <laughs> I'm yours tonight for sure. No, I'm just. <laughs> I see why you be at home all the time, baby. You done made this into a house. <laughs> oh. 
She don't go nowhere. This listen, girl is a listen. whole wife. She is a wife. Do you hear me? <laughs> you cooked? What you What you gonna cook? I ain't dress. Cause I ain't ate. Oh, we haven't eaten it this week. I just it. knew it was some chicken and dressing, some yams, some because smothered be, pork chop over here or something. Cause I be cooking, but I we gonna order some. I like this meal. You gotta give them a chance because you be throwing these niggas away really, really quickly. They don't get the fuck up, not one time. They really don't. No, I just need you to give them a chance. I don't even know how to do this. Because I feel like with me, you got to have all your eyes dotted and T's crossed for real life. You throw it I ain't go. even I ain't even really one to text. I don't even like texting. Okay, so But if thing. I put forth effort, then you need to put forth effort times 10. Like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, she so. hit me with good morning. Like, I don't text no fucking good morning. So I'm texting you good morning. Don't take forever to respond to my good morning text. By the time you respond, it's motherfucking afternoon. It ain't even morning no more, bro. I'm mad now. Okay. If I text at 7.23 a.m., you need to text back at 7.23 a.m. <laughs> Just give them a chance. Like, let's, let's not be so quick to throw in the towel this time. What's your horoscope say? Like, what? I don't know, child. Let's what, read. What did your horoscope? My, my horoscope the other day was telling me, uh, chill, chill, chill. Oh, listen to this. Venus opposition Uranus. You're fi you are feeling restless with the mundanity of some relationships. Mundane. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? I hear you. Hold on. Where it go? Oh Lord. Oh, you seek something new and adventurous while trying something different. Remember not to be irrational just to appease yourself. Be open to meeting people that adhere to this adventurous side of you. Be sure to be attentive to these new acquaintances. Doing otherwise, it could sway them out of your favor. Nothing lasts forever. And this aspect will show you this exactly. This aspect will show you this is not temporary. It may be temporary, but temporary don't mean short. I need a lot of reassurance. Me too. Like, you damn near gotta tell me that your feelings ain't changed every day. Like, I ain't saying you have to, but you damn near have to just make sure that I know that we still on, on the same, same page. page. I feel like a lot of people don't want to be bothered. Yeah. But yeah, I done already deleted his number. Yep, I done deleted his number and all of it. So if I never hear from him again, he sure won't hear from me because I, I ain't got no way to reach out to you any damn way. You funny. It's going to take a special individual for you. I think God has made a lot of special individuals. I just ain't ran into them yet. I gotta move around a little bit more. I want you to meet. Uh, I want to meet Massimo. Uh, Prince in Dubai who gonna shower you with gifts. You deserve it. I fell asleep over my friend's house. That was a good sleep. in the mood for a strawberry shortcake pancake so let's go to snooze it's do mirror chick this big ass being property of bmw on the back of this car is annoying me okay like tell everybody it's a loner without telling everybody it's a loner
So I just threw on um, the jacket that I had on earlier and um, this like leopard print activewear set from Shein. It's really, really nice quality. This the one that I said, it, it reminded me of Wolford. It's a really, really nice quality. Oh, it's so comfortable, y'all. They should make all of them in this material, honestly. Sure, lately I have been washing my face with Cerave's salicylic acid cleanser and just spraying um, rose water on my face. I ain't even been moisturizing. And I haven't been getting oily. And I have no new breakouts. And I can attest that that shower filter that I put on my shower, I've been washing my face in the shower too, by the way. I can attest that it really works. My skin is so much more soft. Like, prior to the filter, I would take a shower and put on body oil and have to put on a body cream and a body butter afterwards. Now, my skin is so soft, like no eczema. I could just put on a body oil and that be it. Like body oil while I'm in the shower, while I'm still wet, and that be it. So, I highly recommend that shower filter. If you are in Dallas and you are suffering with like super dry skin and acne flare-ups and all of that, try that shower filter out. They also have like the subscription option where they send you a new one like every 90 days or something like that. But you get two filters in one box and the filter lasts six months. So yeah, it's a deal. I think the filter is like $40. It's a really good deal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on um, the shower. I have another one. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it on the shower downstairs too cause sometimes I do use that shower. Don't it seem like like I'm always there when it matters. this bob for a while this is a cashmere london hair ma'am has really good hair i think i had this hair like back when i first started vlogging and i love this bob because one thing about the bob because one thing about the bob okay my skin is doing so much better y'all i'm so happy y'all have no idea like how happy i am i really am happy This wig does need to be uh, decommissioned though, I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's shedding like crazy. But when I like hair, baby, I wear it till the wheels fall off, okay? Stop playing with me. Okay, Patrick Star, we gotta talk. Because your top, your top don't stay on your, your eyeliner, baby. Your, your uh, brow pencil, it don't stay. So, I'm just letting you know. I don't want no smoke, but your eyeliner don't stay, your, your top don't stay on the, the pencil. It be coming off. I don't like that. I don't like that, but I like your pencil. So, we about to get into it. I'm thinking about going to um, Nobu because they have really good food and I'm hungry. And before I get out, oh, I love 
oh this pencil before i get out and have some fun fun i need substance in my belly so one thing i love about nobu is that one they're still open on sunday nights and um they make really good chocolate espresso martini like y'all think that I don't be eating, I don't be drinking espresso martini no more. I do. It's just I now that I've ordered them so much and I can make them myself, I know where to go to order them and they gonna make it right and it's gonna taste good and you know do what it needs to do. And a lot of places just don't do it right to my preference, like I like it. So as a substitute. I order the French 75, which is Monroe's favorite drink. But I think Monroe done switched over and she done, she got a new favorite drink. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I need to go see my girl. Cause I feel like falling in love. Off in Miami with the girls. I'm in the mood of Next, we gonna go in with the concealer i like using this concealer for to clean up my brows and also base my lids for eyeshadow sometimes i use eyeshadow sometimes i just um set it with a, a setting powder and then i just wear like a bold liner i think that's what i'm gonna do tonight i think tonight i'm gonna wear a bold liner Y'all, I got these brushes from Amazon. So I was on a little vacation or whatever. And when I got there, I realized that I left all of my makeup brushes, right? And I had very much planned on us like going to dinner and, you know, getting jazzy and having like a romantic little situation. So I was like, we got to stop somewhere and get some makeup brushes. So we ran into this like beauty store um, that had like a lot of um, fragrances in it. And I was like, do y'all have any makeup brushes? And she was like, these are all that we have. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like I only needed three. I bullshit you not. Three brushes. Three brushes. Ma'am rung up them damn three brushes and it came out to be $66. So I looked up and he's pulling out. 20 20 i see him pull out another 20 and then a 10 i said hold on hold on hold on how much is it he was like it's like 60 some dollars i said oh hell the fuck no baby before i knew it i'm telling her oh hell no that's crazy like i literally just bought all of these brushes with the case on amazon for 12.99 I'm like, no, ma'am, I'm not finna pay $66 for no damn three brushes. I do my makeup with my hands and my fingers. Like, it ain't even that damn serious. Blending will not be a problem, okay? Like, no. Baby, I put them makeup brushes back so fast. He was like, I mean, I would've got it for you, no problem. No. No. That, that's, that's not what we doing here. Mm-mm. No, thank you. We don't, no, I don't need them brushes but it was a it was a really good trip it was a good trip i just i decided to keep it to myself you know what i'm saying like let it be a memory just a good old memory i vlogged it but i'm probably just gonna like delete that footage and let it be a memory a good memory i'm a firm believer in keeping a lot of things private when it comes to um that so this is a beauty creation irresistible palette i'm just going in with this um it's called a burnt orange i'm just like washing my lids with this basically and this is all i am going to do I'm just giving a little color to the lids. I'm like, when it comes to like makeup looks, I'm 
really lazy i don't like overdoing it because i mean where are you going you're just going to dinner like won't need all that you know what i'm saying the fact that i'm doing my liner like so far away from the mirror is highly impressive because what I never do that. I never do that. It looks damn good. Good today. Bow liner in effect, okay? And I'm just going to line my lower lash line with this nude color on this um, double take awake. I don't know if the, this has came out yet, but because I was looking at it on, looking for it on Sephora to link it. So y'all could get it, but I don't know if it's if it's out yet. But it just opens up your bottom lash line. Really, really pretty. Cause one thing about the bob. Oh, baby, she's looking like a doll. Open me up. Hi. It really do make your eyes look like you a freaking doll. So so my plastic surgeon who did my nose, he just posted me today on um on Instagram and he posted he posted some unfiltered pictures, but he also posted some filter pictures too, right? So it's this girl in the comments, ma'am. When I tell you ma'am, so pressed. She is so pressed. She is convinced that I have had something done to my cheeks. I'm like, sis, I am so transparent. All you have to do is go on my YouTube. You can see like my natural face, no filter, acne included, face very much still valid. Like if I had cheek fillers, I would say I had cheek fillers, but I've always had heavy bone structure. My bone structure has literally been so heavy that that's the reason why I got facial contouring to take away some of this like fat, that fat pad right here so my face can be more V-shaped because it used to be like square and like I just felt it looked very masculine, right? I'm like, sis, you are way too pressed over a nose post. I mean, my doctor isn't obligated to tell everything that i've had done to my face he only did my nose and my lips once why are you so pressed girl go shopping it's it's weird like i don't never want nobody to see me and nobody comments under nobody comments like under nobody comments being a hater now sometimes i share my opinion on the shade room and stuff like that but you ain't never gonna catch me under nobody comments being a hater. Like, if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I just ain't gonna goddamn say it. She was like, if you ain't had fit cheek fillers, then you definitely had uh, fat sucked out of your face so your cheeks can pop more. Girl, if you don't go shopping, ma'am, go shopping. Go buy you some shoes. Because I swear, a word about what I did to my face ain't gonna make you no damn money. Go shopping. Y'all know we run the town yeah. Hood nigga And I keep a bad bitch around Thick bitch Long hair, yellow, white, red, brown Hood nigga And my Chevy sit on 24 Flats look like flapjack Pancakes, you know Hood nigga I'ma play the game how I go They can take me out the hood But I'ma keep it hood for Hood nigga And I don't need a skill for the work I can eyeball perp I am not too jerk Jerk Worse. You don't wanna take a ride in that long black hearse All eyes on me, shout her, I'm a bomb first I'm the truth and they say the truth hurts Hustle me, hard work, hard work If you scared, go to church Man, this rap shit is easy Every beat I get, I murder Cause I'm a hood nigga I keep the perp by the pound The trap 
Say the name, say the name, who we, my nine say three, the girls up to the sleep, C-O-E, climax to the B, I say you, now you see me, you'll see, I see you, fucking with me, I'm hood, I keep the perk by the pound, the trout stay bunking, y'all know we run the town, Chevy sit on 24, flats look like flapjack, pancakes, you know, hood nigga. I'ma play the game how it go, they can take me out the hood, but I'ma keep it hood and fold. Got you now for gold diggers like Kanye, Kanye. but I will pay Beyonce, or Shante, make Keisha Cole say she should've cheated if she ever come my way. Okay, you guys, so here is the outfit of the night. So the top is from Micah's. The wide leg slacks are from Fashion Nova. And then my stripy sandals are from St. Laurent. So they are YSL. I'm wearing my usual jewelry. We're doing a um, kind of like a retro look tonight. That's why I did the bold liner with the... Um, dark burgundy lip um jbw watch fendi necklace and my shop gold cuban so that is the look for the night and the scent of the night is tonka 25 by Le labo which i love so much this look is so sophisticated and cute it's cute for a nice solo dinner date really really cute i love and so this lip is from one of the PayPal's. It's from Certified Beauty. And it is in the color Brick House. So this is a matte liquid lipstick. I mean, my, my hair can fly in it all. It won't. It's not going to smear. It's perfect. Like, kiss proof. Love that. Okay. Time to go. Cause I know in my heart, babe Our love won't ever die, no My boy right here, the valid, young valid. You yeah, feel me? You heard? Talk about <laughs> it. You heard? <laughs> Y'all ain't seen him in a while. I was a little mad at him, but he back at it. You I know, don't fuck up again. You, you heard? You know, even friends spin the block. Real recognize real. You hear me? Can't stay away too long. So we finna pop out and go to Dallas Social. I'm finna help him get some women. Cause I ain't finna get no niggas. Shut the fuck up. I'm not. She finna be in somebody's section. No. But hey, shorty, mm -hmm. take a shot with us real quick. Mm mm. I'm, I look taken when I come when I pop out with a dude. They don't be studying me. Can you smell me? I smell good. Uh huh? Thank you. 
I ain't. Hey, we smell good in the motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, you definitely smell good. I smell what like what I, I smell like what I look like. What you got on? Uh, Gucci Guilty. Yeah, always. He always have on Gucci Guilty, and I'm always telling him he smell good. We smell like what? Like if you turn around, you be like, you gonna smell me first, and then you gonna turn around, you be like, yup, yup. <laughs> I'm yep. glad I turned around. Every <laughs> time, every time you come around, I'd be like, you smell good, what you got on? It'd be the same stuff. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You hear me? Talk about it. Alright, so we could pop out and go in this uh, little situation, see what it's looking like. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's lit. I got on these St. Lawrence, so these St. Lawrence, so uh, hopefully they don't hurt my feet too bad. Alright, let's go. chocolate espresso martini yeah yeah i had two green tea shots for sure and one french 75 and i think the french 75 is what really like put me over totally yeah because i wasn't feeling like this at first at first i was feeling like oh you know what don't drink no more then i had a couple of sips of the yeah okay fine then fine wait till i get in the house oh Damn, it smells so good in my house. Oh, it smells good in my house. You know what? My friend told me, my friend Shay, yeah, yeah, the bride, she told me I was a catch. And I believe her, bitch. Sure do I believe her. You wanna know why I believe her? Cause I am. I am. I ain't gonna ask the nigga for nothing. I ain't gonna ask the nigga for shh. Okay. Like, sir, I don't even need what's between the legs. I don't. I don't even need that. I might want it a couple of times a week, but I don't need it. Bitch, why y'all little friend? Y'all remember y'all little friend from last year, from Vlogmas last year? Bitch, why y'all little friend on spent the block? <sighs> Ooh, baby, he ain't just spin the block, bitch. That nigga did a pirouette around the motherfucker block. You hear me? I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Cause I kind because I kind of miss him. I do. Yeah, I miss him for sure. Motherfucker, right? I'm loud. Oh my god. I wonder how loud I am. I wonder if my neighbors awake. What time? It's 12, 33. They still awake. They probably wiping off that makeup just like I am. I'm gonna go out of my house. I gotta get up early in the morning and get my hair done. I'm going to get a silk press in the morning. I gotta silk press in the morning. I need to go wipe my makeup off. It's a rare condition this day and age. Reading the good news on the newspaper page. Love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic glue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see 
is a tower of green. Real love bursting out of every scene. As days go by, it's the bigger love of the family. Wow, this, this, uh, this, this liquid lipstick, listen, it need its own makeup wipe. For real. This liquid lipstick need its own makeup wipe. To take it all off? Yeah. Yeah. And I gotta get in the shower because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to wash my face right now. I ain't washing my face with that saucy, with that faucet water. Mm mm. Not me. Not I. Not her. Not she. I gotta make sure I take all my glue off because the glue police be in the comments. Sure do. If y'all ain't seen them, listen, they be in the comments, baby. What's that on your eyelid? Girl, you know what the hell this is. Hell, shit. I don't get my lashes done. I do my lashes. Therefore, it be a little leftover residue on the lash line. Because, goddamn, how hard do I got to wipe my damn eyes for it to come off like it's ridiculous? morning good morning so we are headed to get a silk press <sighs> y'all remember i told you in a few vlogs back that i signed up for a membership so i get two silk presses a month for 140 at press roots so yeah, I actually signed up for it in October, so I was supposed to get two in October, so I don't know how that go. I'm going to have to ask them because we in November now and I didn't get my two in October. But I signed up kind of late, so we shall see. But today's little active wear set is in, listen, this is like athleisure for me. This color is so freaking pretty too because I wear stuff like this when i'm doing my errands i like to be comfortable you know what i'm saying plus it gives up the body because <laughs> one thing about the bob i'm drinking my water for the water police that think i don't drink water you don't drink enough water you don't drink enough water so like, how can you tell that by watching an hour long video? So it's like, I have to show myself drinking water or people will think I don't do it. Even though I have said, I have said that you get your best sorts of water from fruit. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing to see slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag. Know she want a mom when she tattoo that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got a toys. She been coming to a rider. This that roll myself a J and count my figure shit. It's the stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sit for shit yeah, If I yeah. catch you nodding off, then it's gon' be some shit What well, you can do, what you wanna live, how you wanna spend what you wanna put my wig back on um just because i don't really wear my natural hair unless i'm putting in clip-ins and um i don't plan on putting in clip-ins this week but i did like desperately need my hair washed so i just put it back in a ponytail and put this wig back on just because it's bob season Cause one thing about the bar, okay? But I just ordered me some Uber Eats, some from Fuzzy Taco. I can't wait. I ordered a tempura 
shrimp burrito. They burritos are good, y'all. Lord have mercy. With a sweet tea. So I'm about to find me something to watch on TV. Find me a little movie. And just relax and enjoy my day. Because later on we are going to work out. And um, I need to edit this vlog so it can go up tomorrow. So yeah, that's pretty much the day. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Get in my belly. Because I am the first bite with you all. I usually get ground beef because they season that ground beef so good, but we're trying to do away with red meat. So hard. Up. Clean house, yeah. We love that. We love a good old clean house, honey. So the color purple on Netflix. Listen, now that you got a fever, I didn't come out here for you to take off that shaving. Get the molasses out your ass. Ooh.